paper. Uh, the paper is, is entitled Intersectionality and the Non-Human Disabled Body, Challenging the, the Neo-Capitalist Techno-Scientific Reproduction of Ableism and Speciesism. Um, so, uh, uh, at the beginning of, of my paper, I critique uh, 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 a, dis a dis disability study scholar by the name of Gregor Wolverine, who writes um, that uh, ableism leads to an ability-based an ability-justified understanding of one's body and one's relationship with others of one's species and other species and of one's environment. And I say essentially that Wolverine's Wolverine, uh, statement has, has a lot of tension in, in it uh, because um, he assumes that ableism are formative of speciesism. And, and he does not say uh, the corollary, which, which, which is that speciesism are formative of ableism. So what I analyzed in my paper is uh, the common human right of reflective statement. If anyone's read it, uh, it's, a, it's a very, very good uh, statement, uh, statement of intersectionality. Um, it came from the 80s. It came from a series of, uh, uh, came from a, 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 a group of black women activists who got, got together um, and decided to, to fight uh, um, the, uh, an intersex with an intersectional activist coalition against capitalism, uh, heterosexism, uh, sexism, um, and uh, racism, of course. And um, so uh, I say that uh, uh, the, 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 the common use statement comes, is a statement which comes to grip with intersectionality as, as a framework for activism. And um, so I, I analyze it from that point of view. And uh, I I I uh, analyze and and, and uh, I I'm gonna resolve that tension both through uh, you know interrogating how uh, disabled and non-human bodies can fit within such an activist framework and uh, how a neo-Marxian standpoint can can resolve all the uh, ten, all the tensions left hanging in these kind of differing activist perspectives, uh, right? So. Uh, uh, I'm going to reread the main principles of the common piece, of the common piece statement and uh, use uh, neo-Marxian insights to extend the relevance of intersectionality to non-human and entailed bodies. So one of the most crucial uh, achievements of the common piece collective is their conception of oppression as a series of interlocking, codependent biases and devaluations. Um, they, they say they find it difficult to separate race from class, from sex oppression, because in our lives they are most often experienced simultaneously. Um, and, uh, the embodied experience of simultaneous disability and non-humanity is, is hard to chart. Um, we don't, you know, uh, disabled uh, non-humans, it's hard for them to give accounts of what it's like to be disabled and non-human. Um, that, that's kind of an access barrier. So, um, uh, I, I, I argue the most obvious shared experience of, disabled, of, of, of disabledness and non-humanity and, and non can be found in the experience of being studied and tested by regimes of techno-science. So I, I take um, uh, uh, the, the position of the, of the, of the test subject as, as, a, as an experience which, which epitomizes both the experience of disability and non-humanity. Um, and uh, uh, and uh, I think that's a good, good start to being able to use both lenses together. Uh, so uh, so um, I also point out that Kamihi directs their activism at, at, you know, at the system. They, 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 they explicitly say that, that they're fighting how, uh, how black women are, are oppressed in labor force. Um, so they, 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 they attack the whole system. Um, and so I, I also want to attack the whole system. So uh, um, we, uh, I, I'm going to pursue a, a mainly epistemic bent in my analysis. Um, so I'm going to attack, I'm going to attack uh, disability and, and, and non-humanity as mainly positivist not, not knowledge constructions. Um, and so uh, I use a, a, a graduate dissertation written by Joanne Mirek, um, and she, she and it's a critique of Darwin's epistemic framing of animals, uh, which offers an important start to, <coughs> to, to a wider interrogation of how non-human and disabled bodies are constructed within capitalist, positivist, or, or in industrialist in this epistemology, and Mirak explains that Charles Darwin's theories of natural selection imply uh, a cross-species continuity. Darwin wrote in 1871 of numberless gradations separating all animals. And the gradations in Mirak's uh, uh, quotation reveal an implicit hierarchical taxonomy in scientific knowledge of non-human animals. So uh, in Darwin's thinking, you know, the, the, there is 
kind of a, 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 a you know a line um, you can visualize, and some animals are closer to human, and some animals are further away from human and more other, and it's kind of like a, a hierarchy of being, and um, and once you put them all in this hierarchy, uh, you are free to uh, use them as objects of study, or as a scholar, uh, uh, I believe her name is Prudence White, um, says you're free to use them as a resource for human improvement. So in order to in order to devalue, in, in, in order to um, transmit the disabled non-human body into something which can be um, which can be either studied or or, or or used to valorize the rest of, of, the, of, the, of the human population. They have to be put on this on this hierarchy and on this line, um, on, the, on you know within this taxonomy of being. Um, and that's also very Foucaultian. Um, of course, it's very very influenced by Foucault. It's, it's this way of thinking about uh, um, how di how disability and, and non-humanity are, are 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 thought of. And so. Uh, within uh, Western positive taxonomies, disabled bodies are transformed from their feudal status of magical variation to monstrous abnormalities that must be cured, studied, or isolated. Um, so, disabled bodies endure the same thing that non human bodies endure. Um, they're transformed into uh, specks on a line, you know, sort of uh, uh, gradations on a line that have to be, you know, uh, sort of uh, 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 scienced. By the um, materialist, techno scientific, techno scientific positivist apparatus, in order to better the position of the wider population, and there are some really good scholars um, in disability studies who actually engage race, gender, disability, and non-humanity. You should all read them; they, they, they write spectacularly. Their names are Soldatic and 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 Um I have a quote from them. It's a Western anthropocentric perspectives of science deploy a natural hierarchy of species and no notion of subspecies. In this, species, in this hierarchy of species, humans are situated as superior to nature, but certain human beings are closer to nature than, than others. But the idea of subspecies conveys how human biology can be measured and layered into a hierarchy of being. Uh, at the pinnacle of this hierarchy are we white Western men, where, where women, black, and impaired bodies are located closer to nature. So nature is at the bottom of the hierarchy. The white Western man within the Darwinist uh, uh, positivist hierarchy is at, uh, is, is at the top. Um, myself, as a disabled sufferer, uh, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm somewhere in the middle, um, but that's kind of an absurd uh, 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 um, uh, 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 application. Um, so uh, the gradations that Mirek reveal exist as, as rungs for 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 for, for Bienville and Soldatic hierarchy of being, and uh, the whole purpose is explaining forms of life which confuse people. You know, uh, we don't know what these strange, you know, jellyfish things are that flow in the water. We don't know what these, this guy is who kind of, you know, twitches his hand. We don't, we, we don't, we don't understand. So we need to put them in. We need to, to, to formalize them into the system in order to put them into a, an area of understanding. So, uh, so, um, so then, so then, it's clear that that we base our whole critique here in, in, in heavily in a critique of vivisection um, um, from an animal, uh, from an animal rights rights area and um, uh, a, a, a critique of, of what, uh, what a, 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 a disability activist like myself called pathologization, which is the reduction of a person to a pathology. Uh, it's sort of like, um, all of a sudden, I am no longer Zach Richter. I am the diagnosis of autistic stutterer. You know, how do we fix this? You know? So, so, so I, I lose my identity as a full person, just like the animal loses its identity as a living, breathing organism, and it's just used as a, as a, as a thing of study. So it's that episodic process, like I, I mentioned earlier, which is which is which is what allows factory farming to to, to happen, which is a, what allows a lot of these problematic, violent um, uh, 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 institutions to, to to keep doing their thing, because uh, these bodies are not are, are 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 not seen as equally valid, you know, areas of experience, but are seen as you know weird oddities that need to be un understood and regulated by the scientific apparatus. So. Uh, Mirak uh, explains that the that uh, the practice of ascribing uh, human traits to non-human animals is considered to be dangerous on, on a dangerously unempirical by us uh, by by material scientists. Biologists don't want you to you know point out the similarity of humans and non-humans. That's dangerous to them um, or many of many within a.